Oh, well, people don't think I've addressed this, but I have addressed this before. video on this before in one of those battles with the Sergeant Willie P and the truth of the matter is the generation before us dropped the ball the generation before them dropped the ball and the generation before them was enslaved you go back 60 years and what do you see you still see a lost group of people brought here the black women were sexually you know you know they were they were bred with we are an experiment what part of that don't you understand the black african american is a hybrid white mix they tried to create a stronger one of them if you don't believe me look at some of the writings they took the strong slave black and they inseminated her with the white man's blood. We are a genetic experiment. That's what we are. That's what it basically boils down to. A people created out of necessity. And the necessity no longer exists. We're leftover garbage. That's why they didn't want us to have any education. That's why they didn't want us to read or write the language that they speak to us in. How can you sit here and say that it's all on us elders? Half of the elders are doped out seeing that the end is bleak, seeing that life is only life itself and it's to be lived and lived now they stop worrying about tomorrow and start living right now they start getting high they start just partying they start letting it all hang loose because in the end you can be round up just like we was before there was a new reality that kicked in a hopelessness kicked in and was genetically taught to us we was taught to be hopeless and those of us who do have the power to stand up the power to wake up and realize that we're just human beings no matter how we were created no matter why we were created no matter what the purpose is we're human we're not black we're not brown, we're not white, we're not green, we're not purple. We've been taught to be hopeless. And those of their own now have that same hopelessness bred into them. We here on the planet Earth are no more than cattle. You're only going to be as smart as they want you to be. You're only going to get to where you want to get if you break the chain. The chain. Ah. Break the chains that bind you to the ground. You're grounded in a box. If you step outside that box, that's where the real reality is. And it ain't black on black. It ain't white on black. It's not black on white. It's not brown on black. It is man versus man, human versus human. Based on the knowledge in which they gave you, they hold you down. Don't look at this skirmish and this young man being killed as a, another way of black people just giving up that is society giving up on humanity that's not just the young black kids see what I'm saying 
we see this in the African American community because we have been taught and raised and bred to be lowly, hurtful, sad people. We've been stepped on, oh, oh, instead of being taught to rise above, be strong and take all you can and dominate and control. We've been taught to be subservient and then given the illusion of freedom. The illusion of freedom was given to everybody. Those who believe they controlled us and were our masters were actually slaves themselves. See what, you, see what I'm getting at? In other words, stupidity is taught, ignorance is blind. If you're blind, stupid, and ignorant, you don't know any better. If you've been taught to be blind, stupid, and ignorant, you will walk around with those blinders on until four or five generations wake up. 20, 30, 40, 50 generations have been asleep. It only takes four or five to wake up. And you cannot wake up a people dwelling upon economic, social dysfunction. Everybody in that melee was dysfunctionally created to be that way. That's why pop music is popular. That's why bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. The words have been twisted and the youth have been taught backwards. We were taught to be slaves. You were taught to be savages. So in the new world, when you're running around in tribes, killing each other, like Mad Max and Thunderdome, people like me will be walking around in robes, chanting, praying, hoping, wishing that we had the power to teach the lost to be found and to find their own way. The only way any society can climb out of that anarchy is to teach all of the youth, not some, not few, but all, that there's a better life in life being lived. Going out like some player, I'm a player! Four or five people go to jail and and four people snitch on one. Now, I'm, I ain't even snitching. I ain't telling no nobody. And one person go to jail for 40 years and everybody, I'm a June bug, a fool. But in our society, as a people, as black people, and I'm only talking to the black people right now for the last minute and a half, just because you were taught how to be this way, doesn't actually mean you have to be this way. And like the young man said in a statement, Serene 2012, you get picked on if you don't have what everybody else got. You get beat up and bullied. I went through that, and I'm teaching my son not to do that to nobody. I am trying to teach my child not to be like those who walked before me because the lesson is to learn from people's mistakes and not follow them. Don't do like they did. Do better than them. You know what they're saying is, do as I say and not as I do. That lesson has been lost in the black community. We may have all stood and fought for something at one time. But we will always fall for something if we don't have nothing to fight for. Think about it. Let's not blame the past even though that's where it lies. But basic common knowledge and basic sense tells you you don't run around the street beating up on nobody because you don't want nobody running around beating you up. And that strong will survive mentality, that is true. But there's also safety in numbers, and a fractured mirror shows many reflections of the same image. You've been tubed. Fractured mirror. That was that's some bad shit, Romeo. The, the fractured mirror shows many images. Ha <laughs> ha! That was that that was the classic. 